And the idea is this provides transclusion of linked content is very much like a conref in DITA. So you can use xinclude, you can point to some content, and that content will be reflected in your document live. And just as with the confs in DITA in Xmetal, um, it's possible to hide and show that uh, included content. Uh, also, um, for non-DITA people, you can in, use indicate attributes as followable links. So you can have an attribute on, on an element, and following that attribute will provide a link to another document, to another topic. And if you click on that, then you can use XMetal's mechanisms to then open up that other document. 6.0 includes schema support for um, the XS Redefine. And this is really important for um, S1000D support, um, as well as, uh, actually, if you use schema with DITA 1.2, um, there is need there for XS Redefined. So now, um, if, again, if you're using schemas with DITA, then there is support now for much improved handling of them in XML 6. Uh, the schema namespace requirements have been relaxed a bit, and so now the master schema uh, doesn't have to have, or I mean, if you have an included schema, it doesn't have to have the same namespace as the master schema. And then, of course, there's background spell check, and we'll look at that in, in detail in just a little bit. So the, the two main data features in XMetal 6.0 um, are XMetal reviewer enhancements. And so there's increased um, data map support for XMetal reviewer. Essentially, um, reviewer is much better integrated into the XMetal author product. And so from the data map, uh, from the, the map view, you can um, access or you can create a reviewer project from the um, map editor. Um, there's, uh, let's see, reviewers also integrated into the, the menus in XMetal. Um, if you have the product, it just makes it a whole lot easier to kick off the, um, the thing. Oh, and the other important thing is now in reviewer, the data maps are supported, so you can actually build reviewer projects from your data maps. Now, the other thing, the other data feature, and the one we're going to be focusing mostly on today, is the web help output format. So let's talk a little bit about background spell checking. Uh, let's see. So essentially, in the um, in our background spell checking, it's very much like Microsoft Word. Um, other things, um, as you type, if you type a if you have a misspelled word, then a red line will appear under that, and you can configure this through the Tools Options menu. But let's just bring XMetal on here, and so here we have our document. It's our you know, one of our favorite documents, this is uh, one of the sample files from the DITA Open Toolkit, which makes a, a really good file document to test. And so if I type, uh, uh, I don't know, well, let's just add a sentence. So oh, actually, I've got, this is my short sentence, but say I had a typo in there. I can't even type a typo. So here we have a sentence and we have a typo in here and we get a little red underscore under here. Now I can right click on this and uh, XMetal will show me here's some possible options and I can say yes I actually want this to be short not shutter. How do we configure this? Well, we go to tools and options and in tools options you'll notice now there are two new check boxes in the miscellaneous view. There is check spelling while typing, and replace words from my word list while typing. And so this one just turns on the check spelling. Now, if I wanted to have XMetal automatically replace words from my word list while I was typing, while I made an error, then I could check this. I, I'm not keen on that behavior because sometimes what I type might be a typo, but um, it might not be. I type lots of unusual things in my documents. So um, I'd rather be able to check them myself. But that's personal preference. So we can make the change there, click OK, and so th that's how we turn it on. Now let me get back to my slide to see what else I need to cover. Uh, 
All right, so um, if I want to do automatic replacement or check my word list, this is basic XML usage stuff. We can go to Tool Spell Checker. And I've got everything opening up on my other screen right now, so you'll have to excuse me while I pull them on screen. So we have the spell checker up here, and we can go to Options, say User Word Lists. And so here's where I could type in, if I knew that I typically did write um, shorter rather than short, I could add that phrase here and say Replace With. I could click Add Entry. And now, and if I had the automatic replacement turned on any time I typed shorter, it would actually replace it automatically with short. Well, let's see. Now, like I say, on one one guideline, by the way, when uh, cha when checking the spelling or changing it. Um, Sometimes I have a habit of over-selecting, so if you right-click and select the whole word, um, sorry, if you select the whole word and right-click, you don't actually get the su suggestions. So if you want the suggestions, what you have to do is just make sure the cursor is in the word right-click, and that's when you get the suggested spellings. So let's fix that and be done with it. Save the file. All right. So the other important thing here is that um, the spell checking is language specific. So if we come here and we select the task element, so that's the, the root element of the document, we notice that our XML Lang setting right now is for uh, US English. So if I were to change this to French, then the spell checker would say, oh Lord, most of this is actually misspelled. So if we then actually enter a French word, now it says, well, yes, that's, uh, that's spelled quite correctly. Now if we wanted to, of course, we could, um, now we can go the other way. Say now we turn this back to English. We can also use the phrases, so the spell checker will actually check inside phrases and check the language attribute on those. So if we surrounded this with a phrase, I shouldn't just say phrases, it'll do it'll work within any element, but it'll check the XML lang element of or attribute of any element. So we can say this is an English document, but this particular phrase is actually in French. And so now we have uh, the word for oil. Because this is in French, we're saying this is a French phrase. It says this is spelled correctly. And I'll undo all that and return to my state. All right. Someone asks, what is the reviewer function? Uh, XMetal Reviewer is an add-on product that uh, you can purchase from Just. And uh, what it allows you to do is to create documents from, your, um, from a data map and distribute those documents to named individuals. You can keep track of who you've distributed the documents to. They can then use the reviewer tool. They can make their changes. Um, or suggestions and comments. All of those comments are um, reflected in um, 